Hi, I'm Craig. Welcome back to Farmer Canton. It's been a while since I posted our uh, last video. The world's kind of changed a couple times since I did that. I actually have content for several videos, but every time I started putting it together, uh, things just changed and it just didn't feel like the right tone or the right timing. So, uh, who knows, maybe I'll use it for some B-roll. Uh, it is a crazy time. Um, Collectively, we're, we're feeling it. Um, this whole you know, Corona-19 virus and being self-quarantined. Um, we're doing okay. Uh, you know, so five, there's um, you know, six of us on the farm. We're all, we're all right. Um, not getting out too much, but... Oh, there's Benji. Um, yeah, we're not getting out too much right now. Um, not that I got out that much in the first place, that we're from home. Uh, you know, do the farm stuff on the side, so, uh, you know, groceries, taking kids to and from work as needed, a couple of, a couple of them are still working. Fortunately, I work from home already, so that's not such a big deal for me, um, uh, but yeah, it's stressful, um, uh, but everyone's, everyone's fine, everyone's safe, which is good. Um, uh, so today's video, it's gonna be a short one, um, I'm not gonna be probably necessarily offering much commentary on... Uh, you know my opinion on what's going on uh, There's enough of that on YouTube. You don't need to hear it from me as well on top of everyone else um, So I Did some panic buying though uh, Which is the purpose of the video uh, Yeah, if you heard a lot of that lately, um, you know sanitizer um, you can't find it uh, unless you, you, you go on Amazon you might find you know find some someone trying to make a quick buck um, Hard to find toilet paper, um, beans, rice, um, that sort of thing. So, I have to admit, I did some of my own uh, panic buying. Um, not quite the same as all that stuff. Um, so, if, if, you, if you are familiar with the farm, you'll know that uh, we have a multi-pronged approach to what we want to do. Um, where we have our chicken eggs, uh, which we sell. Uh, we have a few ducks that uh, produce chicken eggs as well. I'm sorry, duck eggs, and we'll sell and we're, uh, so we sell that as well. Um, those re revenue streams go towards planting our permaculture orchard, uh, and then we also have the corn maze. I assume we have tourists here. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, which also the revenue from that goes towards the um, permaculture orchard. Um, so you know that I was going to buy some ducks this year. I was going to, um, we only had um, seven on the property um, at the beginning of the year. I was going to buy some uh, ducklings in late April, and then hopefully we would have some, uh, you know, some some extra eggs in production towards the end of summer. Um, the ducks that we were going to get were from a farm in California. They produce this particular breed. They produce about, and then that was, um, each duck can lay up to 290 eggs a year. That's a lot. In comparison, um, some of the high-end breeds um, will produce 240 eggs a year. On average, the, um, most breeds produce about 190 eggs a year. Um, about two and a half weeks ago, uh, I decided getting uh, a, a duck from California, probably not such a good idea. He's um, trying to do an international transaction. Um, I would eventually get the ducks, but who knows when. Um, it just it just didn't seem like worth the risk. Uh, so we found a farm in uh, just uh, near um, Guelph, Ontario, in, in a little community called Fergus, and they had some adult ducks. Um, so we um, quote unquote panic bought um, 60 uh, adults. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to give you a little peek at our, our new flock. Right, so we're in the duck palace. You can probably hear them in the background. Some have just gone outside, but looky there. So we got um, two breeds. Um, we got 38 Khaki Campbells.
and they produce about uh, 240 eggs a year. These ones are about five, uh, five months old, so they're not producing just yet. Uh, the other breed, uh, they're the lighter color ones, so... Oh yes, I know, I'm such a scary person. There we go. The, the lighter colored ones are in Indian runners. Uh, they are allegedly a calmer breed, but you wouldn't know it. And they produce about 190 eggs a year. So not as productive as the uh, white layers that we've had. Um, we, we still have four of those and um, they're, they're getting a little older. They're about over four years old. They haven't produced a lot this winter, uh, but they should pick back up this, this um, in the spring as the temperatures get warmer. Um, the Indian runners are 18 months old, so they are producing. And um, smaller than the eggs we normally have, they're about the size of extra large chicken egg, uh, so we're selling them for a bit less, uh, like $8 a dozen or two or more dozen for $7 a piece. Uh, the Khaki Campbells, um, hopefully within a month or so, they'll start uh, producing. Um, Fun story. Um, after having them for three days, we started laying them out. You can see there's some of them out there right now, and you'll see there's a bit of. A, well, maybe I'll come. To, I'll go closer. Oh yes, they, they do not like me. That's okay. The khaki Campbells are a nervous breed, but they produce lots of eggs, so that's why we went that route. Uh, the Indian runners, they don't produce as many, but they are a calmer breed. Oh, apparently. Um, so we're hoping that they will settle down and they can be um, better for the tourists um, if and when they come later this year, once we've done all the quarantine. So, you can, there they, there's some of the Khaki Campbells. You can see the Fab Four, uh, the white layers. So I didn't have this pen up originally. And that was fine because the, um, the, the uh, white layers, they, they just stayed around the, the uh, duck palace and they went inside at night when I um, brought them in. The Khaki Campbells, 13 of them, decided to go on a little field trip uh, a few nights ago. Uh, they ended up in the chicken coop and my prospective son-in-law and I, Jamie, uh, we got them out of the chicken coop and we were marching them back to the duck palace when they did a U-turn on us. They ended up going into the loft and then some went down to the feed chute and landed on the cow. Some went into the silo, others scattered. It was like 13 escapees that we had to uh, rustle up. So uh, one of my daughters, Elijah, came out as well. A 10 minute task of tucking them in for the night ended up being uh, just over two hours. Anyway, fun with ducks. Um, so that's the video. We got ducks, we got lots of duck eggs now. We got about a dozen and a half a day right now. When they're in full production, that should double to three, maybe maybe four dozen in the first year. Uh, so, hope that that made your day, seeing all these lovely ducks. If you um, want to see more videos, if you like what we're doing, if you want to hear more of what we're doing during this quarantine, feel free to like, to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you really like what we're doing, if you really want to know more about our permaculture orchard, please go to our website, www.canton.farm, C-A-N-T-I-N.farm. Uh, there you can find out more about what we're doing with the permaculture orchard, uh, what our mission is, and if you like what we're doing, we also have a Patreon page, and we would love for you to join us there. Thanks, everyone. Um, I think my commitment at this point is I'm, I'm just going to crank out videos um, as, as, you know, it's starting to be spring. It's getting a little bit warmer. we got more things going on. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to crank out probably going to be shorter videos um, like this size. Um, and I'll just start cranking them out. Um, hopefully, it'll give people a little peace, a uh, sense of normalcy in these uncertain times. Thanks, everyone. Talk soon.